Okay, volume, volume level seems to be okay currently. Um, in, as intended. Uh, let's take the modern difficulty. So, difficulty combat standard and modern is, is uh, there's some help helping us. A bit of helper. That those are pretty standard in, in nowadays games. <laughs> the uh, original game had like idea of get getting out of the mansion alive. Huh? Oops. <laughs> the first game they were uh, frog at the beginning as well. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. Uh huh. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Uh huh. Nice family. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? There you go. Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Uh huh. Sus. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? Probably just in his it's head. It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Yeah. And here we are. Der Ghetto. Mental hospital that's called Der Ghetto. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just... Wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. Um, is it legal? What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Uh huh. Okay. I think he left. Uh... Okay, so n now we can actually choose the character. And apparently, this game has uh, has like two distinct campaigns, depending which which of you take. Uh, you will choose. So it's recommended. That you play uh, twice the game with with both of these characters. Let's go with uh, Edward Carnby because he's kind of the alone and the dark guy. guy. Not creepy at all. Hello. Hello. 
looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Chapter one. We are being royal. We are in a royal mess <laughs> of things. Decero, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Germany. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. Now what do we got here? Okay, that's that's a flashlight. And now I'm going to test with with the I'm garden key. Okay. That's pretty bright. Probably get. Probably. I need to something to fish that out. Camera is pretty pretty close to this guy. everyone Whoa. that's one big tree to fit inside a conservatory sauce Very res resonant evil revenison. Pistol bullets, but I have a revolver. 32 ACP, okay. have a map and this is blocked so can't can't go there somebody has been like 
sitting here and playing cards. Do we have a uh, al almost mandatory sewer level next? Need the key. Need the key. I really don't like that unsharpening of the of the. Let's put the uh, let's put these these out. Chromatic aberration and depth of field. Sometimes they are just way too way too motion blur. <laughs> Low. Uh, field of view. Could could be could be higher. Okay, that's that's more like it. So we have whispering tree here. Yeah, that's a reminiscent to the first game. So that's how, how he is going to heal by drinking. <laughs> okay. That's a rat. Family Every Bible. day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water i wish i knew if you were still tending 1930 or if you had turned your back against us i have started to look for help elsewhere i pray you will tell me if i'm going down a path that you find disagreeable with help from batiste and charlotte I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Okay, that will help. I've long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. Uh -huh. I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says... The Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Oh, no. Sacred sun, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now please, leave my store. A <laughs> goat without horns. Hmm. Huh. 
pistol bullets. Is it safe to keep pistol bullets around in, a, in the men mental hospital? I suppose if you are like a janitor or something. I, I like the modeling of this game. Maestro. Yep, that's a real, real thing. Pistol bullets in the kitchen. In case the meat is a, a bit too lively. Okay, pistol bullets in the fridge. That's just plain, plain weird. Keys. I suppose if they are like butchering their own meat, I can understand the pistol bullet. Rat poison. Or a bit in knowledge. <laughs> what was that? So gathering items uh, e uh, equals for bidding knowledge. Okay, so you need to find sets of items and you need to play both campaigns. I wonder who was behind the behind the windows. is undone soup is re ready so, uh, looks like a bean soup Jesus is on the cross uh, let's see what is it, what's here more pistol bullets and that's a key Old, old fashioned fa washing machine. Well, I'm private dick, so I'm going to look everywhere. No way, this, this is where we came. in the walls or something. Yeah, that's a rat. What's with the keeping pistol bullets in the fridge? Street guard ticket. Paul Bates. Crescent City. Hmm. I need a key.
search. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Sabotage. Hmm. Very much Resident Evil, so we need to... Two pieces of decorative puzzle. That doesn't look safe. Okay, and it's... It is actually blocking our way. But they have been playing cards here. More pistol bullets. Game is trying to tell me something. Okay, what's this? Almost directly oppos op opposite of, of the kitchen. But there has been something way down, perhaps. Apparently, doors are getting shut by an automatic or something. So we need. Uh, we definitely need to get the key. And apparently I can't use these. Okay, this is where we were. Scene of literature and fine arts. Okay. Stuck. No bullets in the in the toilet. At least. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from Waits. the post office mm. yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Plain medication. Jeremy is missing. More drinking. Locked medicine box, so we need to find the key for this. Cassandra. And everyone is just has 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 left the building. First aid kit. Or old fashioned.
Okay, so we are in the orderly. So this, there's no direct way from here to the hospital side, or ward side basically. And we need to go south. Check those other rooms first. Maybe get upper floor. Check the attic. Piazza key. Nice. Nice. So, Piazza is bare. Boiler room, puzzle, kitchen, garden. Yeah, there's this, this, that hole. I need the key. That doesn't work. Okay, it works here. So this is the entrance. Oh. Hmm. I need the key. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that hot work glue, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's <coughs> upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. <laughs> in the corridor, it's the first door on your okay, left. Okay, she's sweet at the sides. Excellent, thank you, madam. Lots of weird art. Well, that's that's that is just 
plain weird. Carpet. All right, here we are. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. So he's a sculptor. Okay. Oh, locked box. Which is missing a uh, piece. Ah, uh, wait. Yes, he's, it's a missing, missing piece. Locked steamer trunk. Ah, working mirror. You can see the, how, how developers have made this with the extra, extra camera. Mirror, working mirrors are surprisingly rare in, in today's games. Bed, bed is made. <sighs> Big man's model. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest and I shall weep. Hmm. Painted dial. Part of the larger picture. So we have a puzzle piece. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Talisman. <clears throat> I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Okay, she knows what to find. Oh, wow. That's striking. I want to save this one. Dr. Gray. Okay, what was that? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming.
Miss Hartwood. Emily?